So welcome back fam. As the title states, this is not a thrifting video. This is actually a real versus fake video for the illustrious Bape deal. We got two items in question that I've been asked numerous times questions on. The Bape Shark shorts as well as the Bape Shark hoodie. This is a size XL, caught for 29,800 yen. You already know, had to. And as well as that, I did do a Chrome Hearts Snap legit check video, but a lot of people were asking about the trucker hat and finally I did get one. So if you guys want me to make another video on the actual trucker hat itself, let me know, comments down below. Before we get into a little information for you guys, you guys have legit checks on any other pieces or questions hit me up on my instagram at fresh and roughly as of now i do legit checks shout outs as well as in-depth vintage information five bucks through paypal friends and family you know what's up if you guys have any questions do hit me up on there now that's out of the way let's get into it this actually has to do with the 2018 and beyond drop one big thing they did change was the golden bape tag on the inside i'll show you guys some reference tags so these are newer pieces and i'll show you what to look for so before i zip this down first bape camo in green shark hoodie so with this legit check i'm gonna do it in a way that you can do it really quickly it's usually the pictures that you see remember a lot of you out there you guys are online shopping the whole thing about being in person it's a lot different from being online so i'm going to show you the telltale signs of what to look for in online pictures to know what's real or not big one's going to be the spacing between the eyes here you know they always say people have eyes that are too close together well in this case if they're too close together then you know there's something iffy about it so reference photos are everything in this case a big one that a lot of people misinterpret is the m here now in the m the spacing in between here is everything you see how nice and neat this is a lot of the fakes out there are gonna be way too smushed together and you're not gonna get this purple in the inlay here as well as that the patch here you can actually see the outline that goes all the way around sometimes the M is way too big and fluffy that's actually overtaking that that is definitely a big one right there that's what I always look for I mean you can go off of zippers but in pictures the zippers are never really pictured so I'm not gonna talk about that but now let's delve into it get to the tag because that's where the real bread and butter is gonna be a clean and nice and neat bait head look at the R look at the spacing look at the face you can actually see the detail now the size tag on the side right there the length of it as well as the neatness of where the XL is that's a big telltale you'll see all in fakes it'll be all messy it'll be tilted it'll be something wrong and when you do flip that one around you actually see a very neat vape head as well super clean again for being that tiny that's a big one to look for also before we get into the wash tag I will talk about this one right here right on the sleeve there is a vape head on it quality of how the vape head looks trademark logo as well and in this case this one you flip around and it's crazy because it does have a vape head like Frankenstein on it so I mean that is a definite telltale sign I'm used to the t-shirts where you see like the back of the bape head in this case Frankenstein came out of nowhere <laughs> oh my God. it's that crazy first of all I'm just gonna talk about the tag so right on the top as you can see the stitching that is a high stitching density there you'll see on the fakes very low and very unquality stitching now another thing I look for is the boldness of the font on the tag itself you'll notice that the fakes are actually bolder than the legit ones so another thing I did want to point out that as it says a bathing ape for the trademark right on the left side of that a it's an asterisk now the asterisk on the legit tags is usually all mushed together so it's like a circle with little edges coming out of it now the fakes look actually better and it'll be an actual asterisk so isn't that funny that the legit tags have a little hiccup it does help with the legit checking so i'm actually going to show both shark hoodie and shark shorts tag because they are one-to-one -one as well as the main tag the two bay pads amazing quality of how it's made as well as the distance between the trademarks it's just an all-around one-to-one one, these are both legit and that's the case here because a lot of people question when they did switch over I believe it was around the 2018 they switched over and the original bape head looked a lot thicker I will try to show you a picture of the old golden bape head because I did find two shirts at the thrift not too long ago and that bape head still look quality but it has a big difference of tag now just to show you guys what I'm talking about with the shorts about the same tag look how clean that bape head is as well as the trademark and you flip around the XL and you do see the nice little bape head tag on the bottom hemline is it's a bape head and when you flip that around it is the back of the bape head so it's not too crazy as the frankenstein like Come i said on. because bape updated those tags and it just was a shocker to a lot of people some people didn't buy it directly from bape they bought it from resale stores they bought it from stores that are known for their streetwear and when they got them and they got them home they were like "Uh oh my tags don't match because even me when i got my bape hoodie and i checked that golden bape head it looked way different from what i was used to and the fact is they just updated the tag with all that stuff they updated stuff in a way that was so minuscule that you have to know what to look for and knowing what to look for is half the battle into buying something you don't know what's legit and you're shopping around and you buy something you don't want to be fooled out you don't want to be faked out you don't want to be had because there's a lot of sharks out there selling fakes if you know what to look for you'll be on the upper hand so with that i'm just gonna say what i always say hit that sub button because more videos are coming this was mick from fresh from the flea